how you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Saturday over here in the Atlantic. We are very closely watching this area of the world over here. Look at all this convection going off in the Caribbean. There's obviously something going on over here. We have broad low pressure centered near the east coast of the Yucatan with troughiness extending out to the east. And you can kind of see this on the Bermuda radar here. Broad cyclonic rotation counterclockwise occurring here right near the Belize coast. And boy, we've had a lot of heavy rain over the Yucatan and Central America countries down here getting a lot of rain likely seeing some flooding problems starting to develop down there as several inches are falling now here's the cloud photograph from yesterday morning at this time 24 hours ago from now you can see we had sporadic convection not very heavy we had a lot of activity in the monsoon trough out in the, on the Pacific side and then this morning 24 hours later, notice that the monsoon trough has less convection here, less competition from the eastern Pacific side, and we have deeper convection showing up in the northwest Caribbean here. And notice this, 24 hours ago, see this sneaky little feature down here south of the De south of the Dominican Republic. This is a tropical wave, and this was an upper low sitting off to its west. This has gone to the southwest. This has propagated westward, and this morning, check out, it's blossoming right over Jamaica here and this axis has forced the uh, the upper low off to the southwest and has now allowed convection to blossom around it and we have this area of low level vorticity that is propagating up westward into our area of convection. You can see this over here. Notice we have this wave coming across Jamaica getting in on this game in here and it wants to come and play. This may help reinforce some cyclonic vorticity out over the water here to the east of the main broad low center which is off near the coast here. So this may be something to watch and you can see large area of thunderstorms going off here. So there's a lot of heat getting released and pressures are low reflecting that uh, down to 1005 millibars across a wide area here and this is a very broad area so we're not going to see rapid spin up not rapid like the NAM has been showing but we may still get some low pressure to try to tighten up just east out over the water over the next couple of days and we will have to watch for that now this is the GFS out to 72 hours here and it still tries to take the low pressure out into the Bay of Campeche and dry out the Northwest Caribbean entirely and then spread the rain up towards Florida and over the Gulf of Mexico before the trough from the north comes and picks it up and I'm still not sure I really agree with this. I like the Europeans idea better. This is the ensemble mean out to 24 hours. Uh, the lines here are the isobars for the mean on the ensemble and then the colors here represent member variance which show how much the members disagree with each other. These purple colors here they don't show where the mean low center is. The mean low center is right near the coast on the ensemble but these colors indicate where the ensemble members think that if there's going to be any kind of a weighting if the low is is here and the low is weighted somewhere it would be off in this direction and any kind of secondary development would try to be out here over the water that's what these colors are telling you and then we go out to 72 hours and you can see that the main bomb of color is out over the Gulf implying that the main low is still going to try to move north or north northwest here over the Yucatan or near the East Coast like we've been talking about but we may have to watch for a secondary development to the Northeast an extension out here that may have more of a chance to wind up over the water and then the trough will come pick it up from the north and bring this out to the northeast. So we may have to be watching for this to stay a little bit farther east than most of the models have it. Most of the models take it in here and the European is the only one that stays to the east. I am leaning towards the European. The UK Met has dropped the European's idea since yesterday and is now out in the GFS land as well. Now this is the GFS 48 hours 500 millibar level and the reason it, it, it puts this off to the west. You can see the vorticity here in the Bay of Campeche. Notice that there's a flat flow over North America here. Not too much ridging over the Gulf, but it has this ridge building into the Caribbean out of the east and building westward and forcing this off to the west. I question this ridge building so strong here because look at all the upward motion that we have in our area of the world. Green lines indicate upward motion. Here's the Caribbean I'm circling right here. Lots of upward motion. The MJO is solidly in phase one here. And so the GFS is telling us that it wants to bring a deep layer ridge and broad scale anticyclonic flow into the Caribbean over the area of warmest water in the entire Atlantic while the MJO is buried in phase one. I'm inclined not to really agree with that and I would think that the Caribbean will remain wet in here and remain somewhat cyclonic and allow rainfall to be 
and allow heat to be released in form of rainfall and thunderstorms in this area of the world for the next few days, and I'm not sure I agree with the ridge becoming this strong, which is again why I'm more inclined to believe the Europeans' idea that we have broad low pressure in here that continues north or north-northwest, perhaps clipping over the Yucatan, but then watching east of it for any kind of development over the water of secondary nature that may try to become a tropical depression or weak tropical storm before it gets kicked out to the northeast. And this may not have the opportunity to become all that strong. And we'll have to see whether it actually, whether we actually get something classified out of this. I still think we've got a decent medium chance or so to get something out of this area. But either way, we're looking at a lot of heavy rain for this area of the world. And Florida is going to get several inches out of this. You can see they're already getting in on some of this rain. And when this trough comes down, oh boy, they're going to get a big front over here. And this will be a big heavy rain event for them as this stuff gets drawn out of the Caribbean. And this is the kind of situation we've been talking about. We will have to see whether we get a named entity coming out of this. But you can see the tropical wave getting involved here. And we may have to watch this area quite closely over this weekend and early next week during the next five days or so. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.